Alrighty folks, hello and welcome to Talladega Super Speedway. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Going to be in the number 27, Corey Bush for Congress, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Uh... You know, it's, you guys know I'm part of Beast Racing, but I'm still running the Corey Bush car on Monday nights with the Dynasty Racing League all the way up through her campaign. Um, so, yeah. We, uh, we're going to get out there. We're going to qualify. And uh, try to get a good starting spot. Um... Let's do this thing. We just, we're back, you know, I, I keep saying it every week, but with these leagues, I just really need to get back to basics and have a, uh, I just need to get clean races, clean finishes. Uh, Spitz, she is running again. Um, and actually, fun announcement um, for the Cory Bush campaign. Knock Down the House, the uh, documentary followed, that followed four of the uh, insurgent female candidates, including Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Cori Bush, is premiering on Netflix on May 1st, Wednesday night. I'm going to premiere to see it here locally in St. Louis. Um, but that, that documentary premieres May 1st, so it's going to be on Netflix. If you have Netflix, you'll be able to watch it without having to pay any additional uh, money to see it. So that's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> I think Insurgent's a fair d descriptor. They, they, they were, uh, you know... Taking on the establishment politicians with the with the uh, yeah in the in the primaries. Clown on that. I am a Democrat, absolutely, lifelong. But I'm not a fan of the establishment centrist stance the party's taken. I consider myself to be an old, more of an old school Democrat, uh, working class, and uh, peace movement. So my mic's too loud. I'll, I'll, I'll adjust that and turn it down a little bit. It's probably too loud when I'm in the race car. Although the levels seem okay from what I'm seeing. Uh, my first choice for the presidential campaign is Elizabeth Warren followed by Bernie Sanders. It's not really more of a, it's not really a one two, it's more of a one and one A. I'll adjust the volume down a little bit more. It is uh, spiking a little bit above where I want it to be. Just a two. Oh, boy. Not a great qualifying effort. I was a little unsteady all through that lap. That's what I get for reading chat during qualifying. We're right in the middle of the field. So basically exactly where we didn't want to be. Let me, uh, there we go. Try that now. That, that should be a little bit better. That should be less peaky, I think. Now, I understand when I say old school Dems, I'm talking about, like, the FDR style. I consider new school to be, like, Bill Clinton, that kind of stuff. Right, yeah, but that—that that is, those new progressive Dems are very much more of the old school what the Democratic Party is like. Trying to evaluate it on a left-right scale is not a, an, an accurate framing of the conversation, in my opinion. These new school Dems that are being characterized are extremely liberal, 
are actually much, much more true centrists uh, than the than the neoliberals. The outside. They're they're on the side of working people, and they are anti-war. With you know, in, with with the peace movement, which the Democratic Party has needed to be for a long time. Getting away from that, getting away from the base is a huge mistake. All that said, as is usual, I gotta put a pause on it, because I, if I get distracted on political stuff during the race, I love talking about it, I'm passionate about it, love going back and forth and exchange of ideas and stuff like that, the whole thing. I gotta focus on the race, otherwise I will not do well in the race. I've got a podcast for that. We might we might hang out and talk a little bit in between. I might, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another race after this one or not, but... We might be chatting stuff. <laughs> right, next topic, religion. There we go. Look, you guys are free to talk about... Uh, the podcast is the getting in trouble thing, uh, Spitz. That's essentially a podcast. It's not technically a podcast, but that that's basically what it is. Um, so. You guys can talk about whatever you want in chat. Uh, just keep it respectful. I've got very good mods. And uh, now, as is always the case, we're going to do the pledge. So, put those pledge emotes in there if you're a subscriber and you got one of them. I pledge to be a good sport, whether I win or lose. To remember that people online are still real people. To know that my actions and words can have real impact. To speak up against hate speech, harassment, abuse, and assault of any kind. To show integrity as a player by respecting the rules, appreciating good opponents, and being a good teammate. To stop excuse me, listen and reassess if I'm told that my actions, my words or actions have been harmful and to respect the sincere opinions of others even if they are different from my own. Anykey.org slash take the pledge. Let's do this, guys. Oh, no. Behind the gate. All right. We're in good shape. You like the pledge clown on that? I wish I would have written it myself. That's actually, like I said, that's it. Good luck at glhf.org or anykey.org slash take the pledge. If you do exclamation mark GLHF in chat, you can see it. They've actually got a form where you can sign that to pledge to be uh, more a, a positive part of online gaming and being a part of positive change in the online gaming community, which is, of course, not to demonize thing? You're everyone. That is a part of online gaming, but it is an acknowledgement that on look, <laughs> we all know from having been on the internet that the internet, and particularly online gaming, is not always the most right, guys, welcome, so welcoming. Uh, let's try to get some environment. Down. Uh, Steven, congrats Tanner, what's on up, man? Poll. And, so uh, good point with the blinking. If I see somebody blinking, I'll probably ask you guys to move to the back. You know, it's uh, uh, pack racing as it is. It's going to be messy if we got a guy. It's incumbent on all of us. Um, so, uh, in my opinion, if I ask you to move to the to back, work, or to I'll work, to work, and pit. do um, but and be a part again, of good luck tonight, making guys, online gaming a better work. experience for everyone involved, rather than making it a worse experience. You know, it it, it, it and that takes conscious effort. This is supposed to be fun. This is what we all do to hang out and have a good time. So, yeah, that, that, that whole thing about remembering that people online are still real people, like that's a that's that's a huge part of it. Uh, so let's go racing. Let's do this thing. Race cars and be ready. Flag, there it is. Flag. Harry, thank you for the host. Much appreciated. Mods, please give Harry a shout out. Go inside. Go there. All clear, my man. Inside. Still on the inside. Sounds like a really bad up there. Clear, clear, clear. All right. 
Aaron, you were playing League of Legends? Good deal, man. Working at the hop. Still outside. I used Lord, to play that. I haven't played in a little while. I'm outside. not very good. Outside, still there. Clear high. One minute zero point two four six. Honestly, not sure what I want to do here. Dropping back feels like a, oh boy, goodness. Yeah, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. Caution's out. Talk me through your lap one time real quick. Oh, that's everybody. <laughs> oh, no. That was huge behind me. Uh, yeah, Racer 417, that was uh, Chase's first win of 2019. Close. Goodness me. Behind the 21. Got them in the corners. Are you freaking kidding me? Seriously, man. That looked really bizarre. Anyone clip that? Spitz, get on the clip button. They could be lining up behind the 82. Uh, not, not quite the final lap. Doing your team grab. It's close, though. We're almost there. Space car is under three. Siren was definitely blaring in Dawsonville. I don't even know if that was hard racing, to be honest with you. It looks like he just got out of sh It looked like okay. someone just got out of shape. That took like half the field Way out, though. Go, Good job. That, that, honestly, though, that, that if, if it was uh, okay, stop, Joseph who did that, that's very uncharacteristic mistake for him. I've raced with the guy a bunch. He's generally very clean. Check it out oh, Spitz with the sub. Thank you very much. Nine months in a row, man. What are we calling our uh, Twitch baby? We got to think of a name. I propose... Z's Hand Racing. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. Got a couple guys going down. We got enough staying out here. I think staying out is going to be the right call. That's hardly any laps on fuel. So we'll be able to stay consistent here. And we'll have, like, the, the guys that we're staying out with, we'll be able to pit with them. Um, Did look a little bit like Bubba's. That was, I felt so bad for Bubba, man. <sighs> So, sorry about that, butcher. Let's Someone see. Has the same sign as me. <laughs> Good thing I didn't. Well, no, I mean. There are a couple guys who qualified really well who were okay there. All right, looks like you're going to be lining up behind the knee. Not everyone who not, not, not everyone who pitted is out. By the way, um, if you guys want to watch some exclamation mark broadcast, we'll pull up the uh, broadcast link so you guys can line up behind the knee. Watch the uh, TV style broadcast simultaneously while you're watching my uh, onboard. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the knee too. I agree, Racer 417. It, I mean, and it. Chase going in that car makes a lot of sense. And look, yeah, who knows? Jeff Gordon ended up at the end of his career with, what, 94 wins? And. Four championships? That's. That. There are only three other drivers. With more that with more cha three drivers with more championships than Jeff Gordon, their names are I'd Richard Petty, Dale Earnhardt, tried to go high the O2 and flipping him, causing the O2 to lose control. Jimmy Johnson, well the Jeff Gordon was a legend. Even if Chase is a very good driver, hitting that legend status, that's hard to do. Even if he even if he manages to. 
replicate the success of his father, that would be huge in terms of wins and, you know, getting... I think Bill had... Did Bill get two championships or just the one in 88? I think he only had the one. Nick, I can't raid you while I'm streaming, dude. That's not how it works. I keep telling you that. If I raid you, by definition, I'm no longer online. <laughs> the road is closed. I, I'm busy. <laughs> Hot take, Bill Elliott was overrated? I disagree. I mean, okay, so if, you're, if your point of the hot take on that is that Bill Elliott's pop popularity was disproportionate to his driving ability, All right, buddy. Line up behind fine, clearly. If it, if, 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 if it were a could be lining up behind one to one like that, obviously, Dale Earnhardt should have been the most popular driver of his era, rather I than... I just see where the 88 brake pedal snap off, so he's in the fifth. Obviously, you know, Dale Earnhardt should have been the most popular driver if we're going by driving ability. So, but that's not what the most popular driver contest is for. Bill Elliott had really good marketing and a really strong fan base at home that helped to propel that. You know, it, it, it's and you know like he was a likable guy uh generally you know he raised people with respect so sure he didn't have the most wins of his era he didn't have the most championships of his era uh and he clearly had some down years but testament to doing things the right way i'm not going to begrudge him his fan base when he came by that fan base honestly it, it, so I don't know the whole like I, I don't I don't and and again like they just because those he he was most people's favorite driver doesn't mean that they thought that he was the objectively best driver. It means that in, in terms of like driving ability, it means that he was their favorite. He was the one that they rooted for to be better. Those are two different things. You didn't touch a nerve. I'm just. Talking through it. Get your break, I like the English language. I like talking through things in detail. I enjoy that. You guys enjoy listening. Those of you who watch, I assume you enjoy listening to me ramble on about things. That's why you tune in. <laughs> what else am I going to do under caution? Besides save fuel. Saving fuel. I expect Chase to uh, get a championship at some point. I really do. Oh, thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I got to be honest. Like, it, it is one of the things that is kind of tough is, is filtering it out because I am open about having a political opinion. You know, the, the, the amount of it hate and negativity that I get with that, even though it's if it's a relatively minimal amount, I do have to make a conscious effort to make sure that the negative stuff does not outweigh the positive reinforcement. Maybe that's a... Yeah, so... I appreciate you guys saying kind things. I don't need my ego stroke or whatever, but I it, understand that, like, when you guys say nice things, I appreciate that. It really does make me feel better. So thank you. That's genuine. That's from the heart right there. All right, let's go racing. Enough of the feels. I mean, I mean, Racer Four Seven. That that is that is effectively what it boils down to. And the thing that's funny about it is that this is simultaneously coming from the people who get all up in arms about people being offended about things. It's 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 very. 
it's it's amusing. Let's just put it that way. I'll put back again. Demi, what's going on, my man? We'll get it back. Outside, two minutes twenty-four. I mean, maybe maybe it's projectors with uh, no self-awareness. I think a lot of it is just a, a lot of them. I do feel like are just trolls who don't have a genuine opinion. They just like to cause uh, discord and strife. Still outside. Anyway, we're back to racing. Let's get on this Clear. thing. Boom shakalaka. Outside. Yeah, take a seven here. Still outside. Still there. Still check up Still outside. Clear up top. Well, so you're blinking like five. no other right now, dude. Giant That's right, I'm, I'm pedaling as fast as I can, Take man. Foot off again. I can't do these checkups on the inside. I'm going high. Cars bouncing all around. Still there at your door. Still there. 49.4. 84. Still inside. Still inside. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be interacting with the chat too much under green. This is gonna require a lot of focus. Willow inside. Still inside, even up. Still there. Does 10 car have damage? It looks like he does have a little bit of front end damage. Still in there. Oh, God, man. Still there. Yeah. Yeah, not a whole lot. That was a big checkup. Still inside, even up. I got way out of the gas. Does look like unless you're completely killed with a ton of engine damage, a little bit of front end damage doesn't prevent you from being able to hold the draft now. Because the NA car behind us definitely has some damage. He's still hanging on just fine. Still inside. All that said, I'm I'm I, I'm definitely happy that we didn't get tagged in that one. Still there. Forty nine point two eight three. All right, my man, go get that next one. Still there, your door. Keep those temps in line. Bones needs to get up there and push that 78. I'm still there. 82's doing a real good job pushing uh, inside, Steve Turner. Clear. Inside, inside. Clear, inside. Clear, clear. Just ride for a few laps. Inside. Still inside. Door clear. Inside, inside. I don't expect Finger to do anything silly here. Still inside. Clear inside. Inside. Still there, your door. Still Just don't push the pusher. We don't need bumps while we're in line. All clear. Springer's bailing out. Still 
there. Clear. Side. Clear if you need it. Inside. Good Westerfield going up to the high lane. He wants to try to hunt the lead. Hutton's a pretty good pusher too. That'll like, I think that'll work. We might make a little hay now. Zero, zero, five. Do it, side. Still inside. Okay. Inside, inside, inside. One wide, you're clear. Inside. 10 cars making me very nervous. Still there. Anybody else in the 10 warp off the corner? Here, five. Oh, yeah. It's going to bail out and ride for right now. 48.933. Ninth place. I'd rather be on the inside if that's going to cause an issue. Up blue. Outside. In and out. Inside. One. Clear. Good job. Got to wow. be careful on those temps. Jeez. Hello, guys. Get a monster run in this package. Still there. Still inside. Still inside. Ah. All right, completing lap 15. Still there on the bottom. Race, 94 lapper. Still there, your door. Still inside. Still way too early to try to go three wide there. Still there. I'm bored you over there, guys. One, two, three, nine. You fell a pretty crap would be you should be able to be the Just gotta remember. You know, especially when you're pushing a guy, it's like you can't just be too tucked up. You gotta be a little twitchy, but uh let's locate from here. A little better out there so in case. Mining those temps the whole time. That's cool. Go there. Fortunately, that happened on the straightaway. When those engines blow in a corner, it's really Go ugly. Sixteen laps left. So fifteen until we pit. We're gonna have to work our way down to the bottom. Still inside. Still there. Right. 
Come on. Go there. 49.24. Lap 18 complete. 14 Still laps until we have to pit. Still there. Still there. Clear. Clear. Inside. Inside. Still there at your door. Door. Still inside. Trying to work a gap here. Find my way down to the inside line. Still there. It's not working though. 49.394. There's no gap. Still there. Still there. TBB got up to the high side. Here we go, this might be it. Still there, core nope. complete. Inside. Still inside. Still inside. Still inside your door. I can't be the only one who's thinking about needing to make a pit stop at some point. Everyone who stayed out last time is going to be in that same boat. The guys who pitted can go an extra lap or two. Still inside, even up. Still inside. More car. Whoa! This got loose on me. Clear. Nick Menendez, thanks for the host. Uh, mods, please give a shout out. Still there. Still there. I've got time, but those laps are clicking off. We're going to have to find Still a gap there. at some point. 49.24. I'm more disturbed about how that thing just wanted Still to break there. loose on me going into the corner. Clear him. Inside. Go inside. Clear. There we go. Spitz, thanks for being on those shout outs, man. Really appreciate that. Outside lines falling apart. I don't want to be anywhere near me, 44. You're like bound for my car. Point one, five, three. The brake bias adjusted for pit stops. Outside. I'll probably just leave it there. There's no need Still to not have door. it all the way to the front like that. Still outside. Still outside. It is getting free on entry. As the tires were out, that's very unsettling. Outside, outside. Or the outside. How's that clear? Check it out. Goodness me, what happened? Outside, 28.947. Still there, door outside. Oh, that's the breath. Come on, take a bunch of grapes. Nine laps Clear. until we pit. Is that the 44 Outside. that's blinking like crazy? Go there. Turner's got Clear. help on the outside there. 44 is blinking like nuts, man. something about the uh, 44 blinking issue. That is, it is really bad. I'll second that. 
Uh, 49.91. Oh my god. Steve-O back to the lead. Note to self, that 78 is a very good pusher. Outside. Clear high, clear high. Still out there. Clear, 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 clear. All right. Seven laps until we have to pit. Five. Yeah, man. That's I'm right, Mama. Running the Corey car tonight. How you doing? Go outside. 64 trying to go outside. take a look, see if anyone wants to go. No one does. Clear. Outside. Still there. Go outside. Eight and the ten are going to try it. 49.188. Clear. Nate's got that bad front end damage. I don't think he's going to be able to lead a draft, but he can try to. As long as he's got someone to follow and disguise that front end damage, he seems to be able to keep up, though. Cars making me nervous, man. He's trying to work the side graph and stay up there by himself. I will admit that's pretty impressive, but the way that he's been warping, that's going to make me real nervous. Outside. Still out there. Still outside. You're outside if you want it. Kind of amazing that he's hanging on up there by himself like that. Outside. Still there? Quarter outside. Still there. There we go. Clear up top. And he's got front end damage too. You take a buddy if you want, man. 49.454. Guess he was getting enough of a whiff. His guys were like moving in and out that he was able to keep with it for a little bit. We got organized for a lap and that killed that. So that puts us uh, eighth place now. Pit stops are coming shortly. Looks like they're going to be right around lap 33, 34, something like that. Could come a little bit earlier. I think we, yeah, we're, we're going to be in good shape to split this properly, I think. Although we do want to go about as long as we can here in case it does stay green the rest of the way. Yeah, four to go. We are able to save a good bit of fuel riding here in the draft, wide open. You know, as you can see, like qualify pace. Hey, are you fitting that time? Next time, bye. All right. We'll pit with them. 49.351. I'm 
many laps the rest of you guys have? Twenty six in the time. Four in the time. I wanna pit with I wanna pit with Steve O and the seventy eight. Twenty seven. Twenty seven pitting this time. Outside, outside. Still out there. You're clear. Outside. Leaders on pit road. Clear. Start looking for your sign. Got her woed down. Five, four, ten three, carpet in the flat, two, ten carpet in the flat. One. Stop. There we go. Sign. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, thanks, Colonel Panicked. You have a good one, ma'am. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Go back up, go back up. Mission accomplished. One minute twenty nine point one. Looks like we got in there pretty good, got out pretty good. We're gonna be well organized. And with the lead draft here. Now the next bit is do we stay on the lead lap? I think we do. Right, I didn't want to do that uh, Keslowski pit entry there. Should be able to push Lemon up there to Westerfield. Watch the temps, we should be in real good shape right here. Might have a six car uh, breakaway draft here if we can stay real organized. That was brilliantly recovered by him for sure. Okay, there we go. I couldn't see anything. I had his spoiler right up in my face there. That works well. Now we just need to stay organized here. Let's see if we can put some distance between us and the others. Guys, let's try to stay organized here. We might be able to put, actually uh, work a gap and decide it amongst the six of us. They blow at like 285. It'll start blinking. That's what happens when you get in and out well organized. We're going to have a, uh, a solid gap on the rest of the field now. Thomas, I got damaged. So we last pitted on 31, 28 lap. If we can get to 61, Roll that's no good. Bottom. We can get to 64. Six, seven. We oh. might be able to do that.
thing is with Steve-O leading, his fuel mileage is going to be a lot worse. Forty-four, I might run out. Please go high before you run me over. Uh, Lucky ended up all by himself out there. That is bad luck. We get twenty-five here, guys. One, seven, two. Off the road. Fuel's the only concern I have, really. That is the one thing that could bite us here. But it's a little early to worry about that, but man... Yeah, right now we just got to worry about putting down lap time. It's dicey to make it on one more stop is the thing. 49.1. And it was Steve-O leading. His fuel consumption is going to be worse than mine is riding back here. Hi, right, D.B. Cooper, man. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. If we can make it to lap 62, we should be okay on fuel. 49.11. If we can't, if we only make it to 61, then it's tougher. If we can't even make it to that far, to, to 61, then it's going to be real dicey. The good news is we're really putting a hurting on them speed-wise. I think we're the uh, we're we're the draft that has six undamaged cars. Everyone else with a little bit of damage, they might be slowing themselves down. Forty nine point zero five. We're in good shape right here right now. Just gonna ride here. Uh, I don't know if there's any difference. I mean, the big thing is that I'm able to ride at like three quarters throttle for most of the lap, so that saves a good bit of fuel. That'll mean I'm on pit road a little bit less on the next stop. Potentially. The group behind us was actually a little bit quicker that last lap.
Something happened to the 64. He's completely lost the draft entirely. He's way back there. So riding like this, we've been able to save to the point where hitting on lap 31. Which was the end of lap 31. We could make it to could have made it to 63. That's 32 laps at this rate of consumption. means we need to get to 62, which is 31 laps. It's going to be tough for the lead car to make it that far. Second group is closing in. Devo, can you make it to lap 62? 49.212. Uh, I'll be real close on that down. You may want to cycle out of that lead so you can save a little bit, dude. Be if I'm behind the back stretch, I'm a little higher. Yeah. We can, we can rotate it so we all get a lap lead and everyone gets to save a little fuel. Because from what I'm seeing right now, we need to make at least 62 to be able to make it to the end. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. Might actually be better to swap the lead in the corner. Just go high and let him go. Either way though. Eric, you good on fuel? Uh, Michael Mill, I'm gonna get 52. These cars don't have as much trouble uh, latching back onto the draft as the old package did. Outside. You're clear. That cost us a little bit of time, that lap. Yeah, so. This thing is tough. I mean, I could make it to 63, it looks like. I 
Do that too. Based on what I'm seeing. Do that too. Or never mind, yeah, I'm gonna be right on the hey, roof is catching up. nose to pit 62. Everybody's doing a good job. Long way to go. Long way. Yeah, they've got our draft now. They're they got organized. They're closing in on us. I can't believe me alone. We should be able to make it 62 coming to 63. Is the hope. That's actually going to be tight. Got to wind it back one lap. That splash, wish, wishing I would have pitted and gotten that splash of gas. Hey, J-Bo, how's it going, man? 49.2. Zero, eight. Guys don't follow Justin Bo20. He's a, uh, another awesome uh, iRacing streamer. Real good dude. Jaybo, how, how long you got left on your uh, suspension, man? You're back after this week, right? They're really running us down. They're probably going to take that momentum and go. Uh, Go right around us. Oh, he's back. Nice. Yes, Good idea. stuff. All right. Get organized. Well, the, someone has a lot of danger uh, in the front. That's feeding the pack. He's just throwing us down. Got a second pack that's been gaining on us too. Outside. Outside, still there. Clear. Outside. Working the outside. Still out there. So it'd be 11 laps from right now. That's on 62. Outside. I think we might be in trouble here. Because I've been saving real well and I'm real close on making it. 49.881. We have to pit on lap 61 coming to 62. Saving 33 laps is going to be. Real dicey. Might want to let those guys get in front so that Eric can save some too. I'm seeing it as being real close to make our number. There you go, James. You good? Guys in our little group of six here, save everything you can. And by my calculations, outside. we don't make it to the finish unless we can put on lap 62, come into 63. So do everything you can to work the throttle to try to make that number. Still there at your door. You're outside if you want it. Outside, outside. Still outside. Clear up top. Outside. Clear, clear. 50.64. Outside. Still outside. Clear.
checking up there. Checking up. Fifty point six six four. <laughs> Sorry, Spitz. This is just how it's played out. I should have hit it on that caution. Our pace has slowed way down. So we need six more laps. Can you guys do that? Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm good. To, uh, about half a lap good. Yeah, somebody else want to lead the pack? I got a lap to spare, so I think I'm good. So what we might have to do on the next run to make this work is swap the leader a little bit more. Like every lap, we just rotate one guy out. Sounds like socialism. Mike, push him back up there. Hitting this lap? 50.799. No, I'm still clear. trying to stay. I'm off the auto a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sack out in front of you and see if I can pull us up there. Inside at your door. Still with you inside. Still inside. Inside clear. See if you can stay with me in the four. We need to keep organized. Other, like the way that we gained on them last time, we were all real good at being organized, coming in and exiting. I'm still gonna be one lap short. Fifteen point four four one. What, where, what are you at right now? What's your uh, fuel level? Outside. 1.2 gallons. Still there. If you can go clear 0.6, high, high. we can go two more laps. Yeah, and that only gets us to 61, right? Yeah. Now, right, what do you guys want to do? Do we want to pit 61 or we want to try to go to 62? 
Chris for pitting this time. Going 64 up there. I'm going 62. That's what I planned. So. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta stick with the plan for 62 as well. 52.372. Bring it around and pit this time, pit this time. Outside, outside. You're outside. Okay. I'm coming in this time as well. Inside. Still there. Strong trigger. Still inside. Clear. We're in pit next lap. Alright, 38, I'm pitting with you, man. Yeah, just up to me. 52.1. Okay, we'll pit six. next time by then. No, we pit this time. Yep. Chris, you might want to get up another lane. Twenty-seven pitting this lap. Yeah, we'll see who we cycle back out with. Inside. Start looking for your sign. Five. Four, three, two, one. Stop on the side. Here we go. This time we got lab. Still out there. One minute twenty-seven point five seven clear. Those guys who get to pit a little bit later are going to be in much better shape. Thirteen minutes time. Two this time. Two this time. Ten. Ten this time. Ten this time. I'm going left. I'm staying in the middle. I got the 44 blinking with us here, too. Jeez. Outside. There go the 99 and the Still there. 26. You're clear. Get on, guys. Outside. Outside, two. Outside, one. I mean, if we just ride here, at least we'll be able to save enough for the end. Still out there. Still there at your door. Stay outside. Wow. Outside. Quarter outside. Still there. Still there. That actually worked really well. We all got formed back up. We gotta get single file. Fifty point 
I'm like so right on the wire here. Yeah, I mean, everyone else was going to pit. We're going to run out like on the last lap as it stands currently. short. We gotta try to save anything that we can while we're in the draft. I gotta drop back. Or I'm gonna be really screwed. Where do you want in here? Here. Coopetition. Caution would be great. Caution would kind of reset things. That would put us in contention to maybe make it a little bit better. Let me try something here. That didn't work well. If I could do that for a shorter spurt. I gotta get a little bit more fuel mileage out of this thing somehow. How did that work for that lap? I got to go back to course. Point zero one four. Right on into here, Steve-O. Time it went back in the right direction. Okay. These guys want to go buy and race. That's fine. Still there. Let them buy. We're we're just trying to make it to the end at this point. Clear. Good job. There aren't going to be a ton of folks on the lead lap who can also make it all the way to the end on fuel. Even if we limp across, we'll be okay. Try to save a little bit more so that we don't run out on the last lap. We're not going to win. We'll get a decent finish, though. Pit cycle went well enough. I mean, we're still drafting with the same guys. It's just we're very tight on fuel. That time we uh, saved enough that we actually are positive on fuel at the end. We'll have .07. I mean, I was going to try to win. That was the plan at the beginning. If I would have known that it was going to break like this, I would have pit when the caution did come out. Because that's going to be the winning strategy. The guys who came in and topped off are going to be the ones that get to battle for the win, it looks like. The rest of us are uh, not able to run fast enough to keep up with them because of fuel saving mode. Now, if they wreck racing for it late, we'll have a chance at it. 
That'll reset everything. Five, six, four. Yeah, because right now we're running 15. We're like 20 seconds off the lead. Those guys up there, the four, the 78, 64, they pitted a lap or two earlier than us. No hope. We're just barely good enough to make it on fuel right now. I don't know if Steve O's going to be able to save enough. He pitted a lap earlier. He's got to save a whole lap extra than I do. He'll like run out higher, coming to the white probably. Nine, and he was even leading this draft for a little bit. Yeah, I'm seeing a water bottle. That should be looked at. Ah, I'm not going to turn the 26. Good dude. And he's running for a good cause. Oh, Mission 22. Twitch.tv slash Stevo1126. He's probably streaming right now, too. My kingdom for a little more fuel. 15.124. Let me know if you're really cool. No, I think he's gone. Tempo. Ninety nine cycles out. We're going to let him drop right into the cradle. Come on down. Oh yeah, I know the lead pack has enough gas. That's the thing, it's like, we're not even racing them anymore. 51. Hey Steve, I'll let you buy Nick on the back here. I should probably get up there and do my part to try outside. to pull the train. Door outside. Clear. Uh, that means... 51. Throughput fell to an unsafe four. level means that their internet connection dropped out on them. The server's received throughput, so the server was not receiving information at a uh, fast enough rate. So it dropped them from the server. Uh, 44, I don't know what's going on there, but... Outside. I'm doing it though, sir. Still no, outside. Clear. Clear. I mean, if you want to drag us around, go right ahead. I'll leave. Fifty-two point four four two. Lap car and a blinker. Looking into top ten possibly. Just want to stay on the lead lap is the main thing. Which we should be able to do. We're getting into the closing stages. All right, 
Got enough fuel. Now we just need to uh, bring her home. I actually wonder if Steve O's saving this much, if he's going to be able to make it. Kind of hope so. I like Steve O. But what's going to happen is last lap, if they're still saving at this rate, we'll be able to go by him with like one to go. Steve-O's bailing out. He's got to save you more than he's doing there. Yeah, but I've um, saved enough that I've, I'm a lap to the good now, so it's possible that they're okay, too. We've been going very, very, very slowly these last few laps. seconds off the pace now. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not a... We had one big wreck, and then everyone went into fuel mode. Leaders are all very well organized. They'll start racing pretty soon, though. That's when it could get interesting. They are... 10 seconds back, they'll actually catch us pretty soon if we don't get rolling. Hey John, if you want to go, just let me know. I got 8.1 gallons two, left. Seven, four, two. Yeah, let's go. We'll lead them for a little bit. I'm good too. That's how Inside. Still there, still there. Still there. Inside. Still inside. Oh, that makes me nervous. Still there, still there. Clear. running points here, so whatever you want to do. I think I'm okay for a little bit. I might let you sag to the lead shortly. We're very close to getting lapped here. Yeah, it's kind of what I wanted to go. I got a lap of spare, so I'll just see if the, the gallons go down. Oh, somebody's wrecking. Get your mouth! Get down there. Get down there. 50.4. No caution. Three. Three. I'm gonna let you cycle out front. I gotta save Morgan. Inside. I'm still inside. Still there. Clear. I don't know what that 44 was thinking. 
get it. I'm trying to get it going. We're going to lose a lap. We'll just latch on to the back of them. That puts us one lap to the good on fuel, though, so Outside. we make it from here. Still there at your door. Still out there, man. The problem is we're not in a lucky dog spot. Go out there. Gosh, this is intense. Go out there. How are you doing? That gives them the one lap they needed, though. Outside. Point two, nine, three. Ten laps to go. Still there at your door. Now we're right in the thick of the fight. Outside. Well, it, it's not boring anymore. <laughs> we're right in the thick of the fight, even though we're not in it for position. Still there, still there. Work at the top, one wide. Two wide, outside, outside, outside. One open, still there, quarter. Two wide, outside. Still there, in and out. Go there. Outside. One wide. Go there. Two wide outside. Go there. Go there. Forty-nine point three. Two. Two. Go there. Oh, this is getting intense. No. No. We'll get whatever we can get. Still there, man. Still there. Outside. One wide. Still there, outside. Two wide, outside. Still oh, there. goodness me. Still there. Working at the top. One wide. Door outside. Still outside. Clear, clear, clear. Outside. 49.3, 4, 2. Still out there. Still there. Still outside on your quarter. This is where I need a human spotter to try to clear me up to that middle lane if possible. Outside. 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 One wide. Still there. Door outside. Still outside. Outside two. Still there. No hole yet. Outside. Well, this strategy One went all pear shaped, didn't it? Outside. You're outside if you want it. Inside. Oh. 49.3. Zero. Eight. In and out. No hole yet. Outside clear. One. Still there, quarter inside. Still inside. Still there. Still there. Try to go with the middle lane. And out. Still there. Go there, in and out. Inside, inside, inside. One open, in and out. Still there. Oh boy. 48.93. Clear, clear, clear. One wide. Still there. Still inside. They're banging inside. doors. Get back there, Buck. I'm five away. Good job, Buck. Come on, take him in. Still there. Middle line or high line? I don't even know which one's the best one to be in. Still there. Probably middle. In and out. We're going to have to contend with that 10 car that's bouncing Still all over there. the place. Still there. In and out. Still there. No 
Son of a gun. You're going to be lining up behind the 82. We're in it so You're we don't get the lucky dog. The 82. Line up behind the 26. I don't even know if that was us. You're going to be lining up behind the Felt like the 10 bun bounced up into us. Looks like you'll be lining oh, up behind the 26. We're going to have to come around at 99. Get behind the 93. That's the race. I'm going to do a zoom on truck right now. Up that, that strategy didn't work. That strategy didn't work at all. Sorry, guys. We tried. The correct strategy was clearly to top off on that first We're caution. Behind the 99. <laughs> I listen to you, John. <laughs> uh, I mean, at least we didn't run out. But yeah, it didn't work out well. Yeah, sure, we didn't run out. So I'll give you credit there. We played the bed, played it about the best we could with the hand we were dealt there. Yeah, that's true. Nice win, Hedler. It's a hell of a race there, guys. Yeah, nice win. Yeah, when the 10 got into me, they yeah, wrecked behind us. I don't know what happened if the uh, 10 and the 27 had net code, but it looked like the 27 shifted to the right a little bit. And then a huge net code between the 27 and the 99 is what uh, what the caution was about. From my perspective, it felt like the 10 just warped up into me a little bit. That's what caused the initial contact. Alright, so yeah, there's net code between the 10 and you, and then net code between you and the 99. I'm talking like half a lane net code, like this is a huge net code. Yeah, that makes sense. I was just trying to hold my line. I think we were four wide with the other, with the slower cars up top there. Yeah, we were four wide. What do you guys were up behind it? I'm going to post a screenshot in the boxing the distance between you and the 99. It's insane how big on that code this was. The 10 was doing the somersault last few laps. Well, I have a picture next time. Should have said something. I mean, at that point, it's the end of the race. You, you'd been, from what I saw, you were warping all race. You're, you're not going to roll out of it with five to go. Should we start behind the 99? No, but I'm not running for points, so. Yeah, 10 4. Pit road is open. We're going to end up 16th, or if the 99 blows, we might get a spot there. I think next lap's the last one. Uh, question, is that the race, or is it going to be a one-lap shootout? Oh, uh, that's... E-race. Yeah, that's definitely the race. We're, I think we get the white flag right here. They don't have the fuel for a green white checker. Hey, brother, can I get a push? Ah, well, 16th. Talladega, it's whatever. Hey, uh, well, uh, congrats to Ryan Hesgard on winning tonight's race. The top three finishers, please stick around for post-race interviews. Um, 
next week we are at Dover for 200 laps. Thank you guys for coming out. Hope you enjoyed your week off, and we'll see you next week. If anyone has any questions, comments, complaints, please let me know after this race. Uh, thank you. Ah, I mean, Thanks it was a fine guy. race. Looks like you'll be lining up behind the date. Not famous. Yeah, good win. Not my famous. Good win, man. Well done. Yeah, you're famous, We're man. We're gonna restart behind the 78. Still want that autograph? Yeah. You can autograph my uh, crumpled hood here. You got a marker? Uh, somewhere. Sorry, I keep it right next to my comb. Oh, come on. Blow up right here. Behind the 99. Man, that sucks. Netcode had to ruin the race for a lot of people. There was netcode between uh, the first caution between uh, Ravi and the O2, and then that netcode right here right now. So that's really unfortunate. But other than that, good race, everybody. A lot of fun to watch seeing that four wide coming to the final laps to go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Thanks to the DRL, and see you guys next week. Yeah, all in all, good race, guys. Good race, see y'all. Only four DNFs in this race. That's actually not too bad for Talladega. Ryan. So, 15th. Check a flag. Yeah, strategy is what it is. Fun race with you, man. It just, Sorry yeah, it button. was... Did, uh, if I would have thought you down Sorry about that. a little bit more about what the Might fuel situation was going to be, I would have, um... Do I have to fill out a form, James? Pitted on that caution. That's kind of brutal that lap... A lap two I caution ends up being the... the decider in <laughs> good win man thanks bud kind of brutal lap two caution ends up being the decider in the strategy that's crazy it was that sinking feeling where like we realized that like you know, it, it, the pit strategy had played out. We executed it perfectly with the pit stops. We're getting front, and then all of a sudden, you get that single feel like, oh no, this thing's going to go green, and we don't have enough fuel. And that kind of blew a hole in the whole strategy. We just had to go into saving mode. We couldn't run fast enough. They were able to run full out and make it to the finish. Well, Steve-O, I guess uh, we learned our we learned our lesson about staying out on a lap two caution, huh? Son of a gun! All right, let's go back and take a look at that wreck. I honestly thought I might miss it, but nope. Because I think the caution was actually going to be for behind us. Oh, wow. That's huge net code. 
everyone net coded. Like the 60, look at what happens to the 68. Look at the gap between me and the 10. And then the 99 gets it. And that turns him. Oh, and then the, the, I got turned because Steve-O tried to go between us. We were actually going to be okay. And then we got turned as a part of that. Dang it all. And I'm trying to save it, and yeah, that just really crunched us. Looked like netcode between this with the 68 as well. Just massive, massive amounts of netcode. If I would have had my wits about me, I would have gone high. I thought that the 68 was sliding high. I mean, we're four wide, fine, and then just that bobble there. Talladega. We're all, we're all minding our P's and Q's. We're in the lines that we're supposed to be in. Ah. <sighs> Do feel bad for uh, Jeremy there. Especially since he ended up blowing his engine. It almost looked like that actually wasn't going to bring out the caution. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, the 68 turning was really weird. Um, let's go back to the lap two wreck. We did such a good job avoiding this. Oh, geez. Ninety three kind of clipped the O two, misjudged it going high. It looked like that would might have been net code as well. Yeah, he just kind of tapped him, and the O2 gets loose and can't save it. Holy cow. That was an ugly hit. Yeah, I think the 93 might have misjudged it when he's coming with that big run. He just barely clipped him. But again, that could have also been net code. Because the way that it upset the O2 was very odd. But yeah, you just uh, kind of clipped him right in that right rear quarter. Yeesh. Here's that slide that we did. Now, here we go. That right there, that'll be our screenshot. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that, man. Congrats on your win, dude. Well done. You earned it. You did. I very much uh, played the strategy incorrectly. Let's 
Let's go tighter than that. Poor old Joseph. Now, dude, what, was, what it was was like when th when this wreck happened, the first one. I didn't know at that time that pitting at that point and topping off was going to be the difference between having enough fuel to make it correctly or not. So I was one of the five guys that stayed out, and all of us ended up slightly off strategy. So we tried to make it work the best we could, but we had to save so much. We were going to be good on fuel, but we had to run so slow saving that it absolutely killed our uh, race. So, uh, yeah, man, congrats to Ryan on the win. We salvaged a 15th. Not great, but, you know, it's probably going to... At least it doesn't kill us in the points. So that's the only positive out of that one. Uh, I think that was Talladega where I pulled that strategy last year where I pit and no one else did. That worked out a lot better for me. But that was a much... I think that was deeper into the race when that happened. It wasn't on lap two like it was this time. I think we had a caution later in the race as well. And But, like, for that strategy to work where I pitted on that one, that one we still had to save. But the fuel tank was bigger. Like, anyway. It wasn't a shorter race. It was that you could, like, last year's package, you could go, I think, two or three laps further on fuel than um, this year's. When they added the arrow and the extra horsepower, it shortened up the fuel run a bit. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, watching on the YouTube side. Really appreciate that. If you like this video, click the like button, hit subscribe, head over to twitch.tv slash John underscore underscore Theodore. Click the heart to give me a follow. Thank you very much. Peace out.